Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Joppa here today and today's video is going to be my first top 5 I've done. So, the reason why I'm doing top 5 is because I had a poll on Twitter and I was asking people should I bring back the Sniper vs. Sniper series or start a top 5 and top 5 won. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 5 will be Bad Teammate. Now you guys all know, this is not just an MWR, but any other Call of Duty game, Bad Teammates is the worst. Because you never know, with NWR or any other Call of Duty game, it's like a 50-50 chance. You're either going to get a real good team or a real bad team. And with my luck, I always get put with the bad team. And it's like, being put with the bad team is terrible. Because number one, you got to carry them. Number two, you got to watch out for them because you got to make sure that they don't give the enemy team kills. Because you guys already know, kills equals kill streaks, And the kill streaks in these games are annoying, especially the helicopter. So it's like, if you don't watch out for them, then they just feeding the enemy team kills. So that comes in at number five. Now number four will have to be hit with three stuns or three flashes. Now you guys all know people that rock the three specialist grenade perk. Now, I can understand like throwing one and saving it, but you got, you got them people, you got some people who just toss all three stuns or flashes and every single one hits you now the maps that they really do it on is crossfire no not crossfire but um wet works and countdown those are the maps that i experience that where i get hit with like three flashes and my screen is white forever and then i was like i can't see nothing and then by the time it wears off i'm already dead or when the, my screen is white then the kill cam popping up and showing how i died because I couldn't be prepared because I'm hit with three stuns, but now the person that threw all three stuns or all three flashes don't have flashes or stuns. So it's like, at the end of the day, we both lose because I'm stunned or flash and I can't see and I'm dead and you don't have stuns or flashes to use when you need them. So that comes in at number four. Now, number three, when enemy, when, not when, when your teammates cannot shoot down helicopters. It's just like one of the most frustrating things ever. When your teammates see an enemy helicopter in the sky and you know one of them has, at least one of them has RPGs and they don't use them. They just constantly sit there, let the helicopter kill them and you and the whole team. And it's like, dude, I seen your RPGs on your back. Why aren't you using them? Like for me, if I have it like, I, pre I just prestige recently and for me, I, if I haven't prestige, like, uh, relay when I'm further down leveling up, I always rock Bandolier because you guys already know, I go for clips. I'm a sniper. So, Bandolier is like a useful perk because if you don't use it, then you're going to run out of ammo fast. But that's besides the point. When you see somebody using RPGs and they don't shoot the helicopter down, number one, the helicopter on the enemy team is just killing all y'all and helping the enemy team out by helping them win. And it's like, if you have RPGs, Please use them. You will be a big hero to the team and yourself. Because when you shoot down helicopters in this game, it's just a blessing. And if you just keep them up, then hey, you already know you probably lost that game. Unless you're me and have terrible luck and your helicopter stays in for like legitly like 10 seconds and get like one kill and flies away. But that comes in at number three. Now number two, I hate this one the most. I've encountered this one like several times. And this is getting killed by a Claymore sitting in the doorway or a random Claymore just placed on the map. Getting killed by Claymores in general is so annoying. Because number one, if you on like a, a nice streak, like I say a 15 kill streak or close to a nuclear, which happened in my case a couple of times. And you just run into a doorway or you run by a doorway and you hear like a tick or two ticks go off. You just know you did because dodging claymores, unless you real le lucky and you like a claymore god and you can dodge them, just know claymores are gonna kill you, and that's one of the most frustrating things. Like I say, especially if you on a nice streak, because claymores are annoying, and when they mess your streak up, it just mess your day up because you know you was close to a nuclear, and I I don't you know how many times it happens to me. But I get close to a nuclear, like I say, four kills off. 
Then I just run to a doorway. Not thinking it's a camper in there or somebody in there, and I just hear tink, and I die. It just ruins my day. It really does. And that guy, that's why that guy come in number two. But this one really gets on my nerves. And this is number one. Now, I'm, well, I'm going to do honorable mentions first. And you guys don't know, that's campers. Campers are annoying it's called, in Call of Duty games in general. But number one, number one will have to be super head glitches. Now, I call them super head glitches because you got your normal head glitches, then you got your super head glitches. Normal head glitches are the ones that you can see when they with their heads peeking up behind a barrel or something. Super head glitchers, on the other hand, are the people who are like behind trash can stuff and you can't see them. Annoying, annoying, annoying. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this top five, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you guys want me to do more top fives, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, talk to you guys later. See ya.